Uh, coronaviruses are a large family of viruses in animals and also in human beings that cause a variety of, of infections. Um, and uh, the, the new coronavirus, we call it the novel coronavirus, uh, is a, a new disease, causes a new disease called COVID-19, you've seen that, uh, in the human population. It originated in Wuhan, China, Wuhan City, China and it has spread throughout China and to certain countries uh, in the world. The spread of the virus is very similar to the spread of influenza, uh, generally through small droplets uh, when people are talking to each other close up or coughing or sneezing. Uh, it can also be transmitted uh, by hand-to-hand -hand contact and by touching your face. Uh, so those are the, the major modes. The virus does not live for any significant length of time on inanimate surfaces, so it's not thought to be an important mode of transmission. Uh, a lot of people worry about, can I get this from something that comes from China? And the answer to that is probably not. Well, obviously, uh, avoid sick people, and when you're sick, avoid others. That would be my basic recommendation. And that would go, that would be the same kind of recommendation we would give for influenza. So in many ways, uh, even though there's a certain height heightened concern about coronavirus, um, we really are applying the same sort of recommendations that we would for a bad flu outbreak. Well, this has been a great concern because there's a shortage of masks and this is affecting hospitals. And um, unfortunately, too many people are using masks unnecessarily. We recommend masks really only for the use in hospitals or doctor's offices, for healthcare workers or to put on a sick person who's being evaluated in a healthcare setting. Um, masks are not recommended to wear on the street, they're not thought to be helpful, and you don't need to have a mask at home. Obviously, you know, if, if you know, what we should do, certainly if you're sick or you're around sick people, we certainly uh, should avoid, you know, unnecessary handshaking, touching your face. If you're coughing, cover your, your mouth with your arm. Uh, with a tissue and then throw the tissue away. Wash your hands thoroughly, okay? Avoid touching your face. Those are the sort of things. That's hard to avoid touching your face because we do it unconsciously, but that's what hand washing is all about. And so uh, these, these different interventions are complementary to each other, and together they can prevent the spread of both influenza and coronavirus. If you're sick, you presumably know you're sick. Uh, sometimes viruses can incubate for a period and you're not ill, and then you get ill after you contact someone. But when you're ill, uh, obviously uh, uh, taking care of yourself, staying at home, is the most important thing you can do. Um, uh, symptomatic treatment. There is no medicine for coronavirus. There is no specific treatment. It's just supportive anyway. So if you're not really ill, if you just have some cough and fever, you're probably okay to stay at home. If you're getting short of breath, that would be a more worrisome sign, and uh, that would maybe uh, indicate that you should go in to see the doctor. If you do have to go see the doctor, you should always call ahead first, because imagine in any flu outbreak, the doctor would like to prepare to see you in the office, as, uh, and so having a mask available, something like that. So your doctor's offices would appreciate if you're gonna come in to be evaluated for a possible flu or maybe a coronavirus infection is that you notify them first. I've encouraged people to continue with their plans. I've been asked this question many, many times. Uh, obviously, I would not recommend to go to what we call one of the high-risk countries, and those are you know, well publicized. Uh, the CDC keeps a list of that. That would be China, Japan, Korea, Iran, Italy, uh, but right now a lot of the places people are traveling are not high risk and I encourage them to continue with their plans. Well, uh, we have uh, a preparedness plan at Schneck Medical Center and uh, we are ready for cases of influenza and coronavirus. So we have a plan in place. We have an excellent team of hospitalists should, should patients become extremely ill. Uh, we, have a, uh, we have an emergency department that's ready. So we are ready for an outbreak. We have uh, isolation rooms, negative airflow rooms that we use for various uh, transmissible diseases, and they are certainly appropriate for coronavirus infection. Um, so we're well equipped at Schneck to handle patients. Um, obviously, those patients that are hospitalized are going to be more ill. Um, most patients with coronavirus should not be hospitalized. They should stay at home.
Uh, but when someone becomes ill enough to be hospitalized, we're ready for that. So there's no immediate concern of cases in our area, but we have a preparedness plan. And this plan is based on consultation with the Indiana State Department of Health and with the CDC and, uh, of course, and the World Health Organization. We are informed by those major uh, bodies that are disseminating the most up-to-date information. It's important to remember that this virus is a new virus. This outbreak is a new outbreak, and so we're learning uh, as the outbreak occurs. Um, the best resource, uh, certainly online, is the cdc.gov. The uh, detail, the amount of care that's been put into this website is extraordinary. It's helpful for both doctors and for potential patients. So I do recommend getting your information from a reliable source, and the CDC is the best source.